So we have one Japanese. He became Muslim when? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, mashallah. He became Muslim two weeks ago. He was in And why I am interested in. Yeah, I just two weeks ago, I converted to Muslim. Yeah, actually, I work, I work as an doctor in Japan, and I was uh, struggling a lot, uh, and, and but actually, I met a girl who, who is a Muslim, and I gradually uh, studied about Muslim, and it's really peaceful, and gave me a good guidance, and I am more, more and more interested in this religion, and I yeah, finally uh, came to this masjid and I met a lot of good people, so I'm very happy to know and join this community. It's very warm, uh, warm, cool, and peaceful, and I really uh, enjoyed uh, every moment spending a lot of people here. So, yeah, thank you so much. And why I chose Hamza? <laughs> because it's just I thought it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's just cool and <laughs> and what what's the meaning of Hamza? Uh, <laughs> he is very strong. I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to be strong. You think he's a peaceful, but he's yeah. a great great companion, okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't want to say yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I want to be stronger. <laughs> so I chose the name. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> May I like to be with Hamza? Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Hamza Sam. For Brother Hamza, please remember. Islam is not here to cut off the ties between you and your family. Your parents are still alive, they are all alive. You must set the example to them, show them the beauty of Islam. That this is what Islam is. Respect them. Never raise up your voice to them anymore. Whatever they say, even what they say is not correct, just be patient and be very humble and polite. Never raise up your voice. Show them the best example. We pray we one day a lot if they'll be diet. Okay? Welcome to Islam. Also, I don't brother. We should we should know that 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 uh, six years. Six years. And he was going for Dawah in Christianity. And SubhanAllah, Allah guided him to Islam almost around two months ago. And he chose the name as Yusuf. And MashaAllah is very, very active. He never missed Saturday class. And he's very commit, uh, have a commi very high commitment, mashallah. Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him yeah, with Allah. full iman in his heart. Allah. And we suddenly saw him buying halal meat. <laughs> <laughs> he's very careful not to eat haram, mashallah. So Yusuf Sami, just two minutes about your story and what do you think about support with Okay. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam. Okay. Um, I'm pretty shy, guys. So I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you about um, my conversion. Uh, why I became Muslim. As just once told you, um, I was a preacher. I was a high priest in a uh, uh, Christian church. Your name is uh, um, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. What do you think is bones? Yes, I was a boy in the church and I grew up, grew up in the church. Then I served mission in Australia two years. Then my past 
um, church leaves that we don't, we live in a volunteer, so we never get the pay to go to that church thing. Yeah, so we have to save the money to do for the uh, God, you know, for the church. Like, I believe it. I'm in mean, the school um, called uh, Brigham Young University. This is uh, uh, my, my past church is on, uh, sponsored the university, and I graduated from the school. And I back to Japan, I become a uh, so, preacher, like a imam. I had a band couple to uh, I, about 600 members in my chapel, and every Sunday I preach. I talk about the Bible and Jesus and God to my members. But I a long story, but anyway, I decided to uh, quit the church. Then about 30 years ago, so I left the church, but I always believe in God. I never stop um, praying to God. So like about so like a third years ago I left the church and I was um, looking for different um, church and religion. Then I think um, about two years ago I got you know introduced about Islam from few Muslims. And I'm very feeling very comfortable and I feel this very good. <laughs> and I will be studying about, start studying, start studying about yeah, Islam. And very, very, I felt um, good about it. Then, um, end of July, I decided to be a Muslim. Yes. But, you know, everyone was living in Japan, you know, uh, how to find out food, you know, like, uh, most of the food is haram, yeah? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so very, very hard to, you know, find the right food, the, the halal food, yeah. But it's, it's okay to me, you know. I cannot drink anymore, but it's okay, you know. It's no big deal, because I found the truth. <laughs> You will get unlimited drink in German shop. Don't worry. Wait few few years. As a stay, you sacrifice the wine in dunya. Allah will reward you the river of wine in our Thank you. Thank you very much, Jesus. Yes. And you yes. 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 Thank you. 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 Talking about Jesus. Now, when you become a Muslim, you don't lose Jesus. Because every Muslim must believe in Jesus. You cannot be a Muslim if you don't believe in Jesus. That's why I talk to my family, also for Christians. If you become Muslim, you still believe in Jesus. Because we Muslim must believe in Jesus. And you must believe in the Virgin Mary, you must believe in Moses, you must believe in Abraham. You don't miss anything. And by having Islam, you have everything. So, because some people may say, no, no, you cannot believe in Jesus at all. You cannot be a Muslim if you don't believe in Jesus. Now, how you believe in Prophet Muhammad, you should believe in Jesus. You cannot differ that. We are only sent from different, different times for different, different good of people. And Jesus said that we are not sent except to the Lordship of Israel, not to the Samaritan, not to the Gentiles. And that's why in the time Jesus, you never see any of his followers who are not by Israel. 
Only Bani Israel have the right to claim that they are the followers of Jesus. Now it's called the Isaac the Maryam, the Bani Israel, the prophet of the Israel. So Alhamdulillah, once again, we hope that brothers yeah, will have all the good uh, support from the new family. And now because Hamza and Yusuf is no more a stranger to all of us, they are our family and a family for every Muslim wherever they go. So we hope they remember 561, the foundation, <laughs> so that whenever they travel, if people are still Muslim, yes, make Yusuf, make Hamza. After that, somebody will be thinking, uh, Shahada, Shahada. Immediately, he said, Shadu la ilaha illallah, wa shadu anna Muhammad was. And continue 561, you make them feel shame. Huh? 561. What is 561? Yes, <laughs> 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 explain to them, you are the best and you are not protect. Both of them, make them a good example to their family so that one day the family also will learn about the beauty of his life. It's hiding there. <laughs> <laughs> so that you cannot see. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so the reason that. Uh, <laughs> I have been a long-term member of this uh, ISS, of the Islamic Society. And I see all these faces in front of me. Some of the faces I know for a long time. Uh, some of the faces are very new. But I remember uh, I had this, we had this, uh, this old masjid just around the corner. And before that, yes, we had a very, very old masjid on the third floor in a very small, very old building. And yes. So I remember I remember those days and now I feel that it's been a, yeah, as uh, Sensei said uh, the Islam is expanding. So I'm very happy to be here and that um, since uh, this May I have been involved in this uh, school uh, supporting Islamic International School. And as an advisor and a teacher of Japanese language. And I see these uh, young people, like, they are still going around and going out of this room, and so they're making a bit noise. But <laughs> and they are growing, and it's, I see these uh, young generations uh, growing up as well. So even if some of you leave this country, they will, some of the kids will stay here, and they will be the modern Muslims, inshallah, they will be. That we are trying very hard to educate and the discipline, as the sensei said, uh, so that they will be very uh, good Muslims, the role models. And one thing I want to do in this uh, new masjid is that I want to bring uh, non-Muslim Japanese people so that they will see how we think and how we behave and how we communicate and how we uh, make bonds with each other. So I'm hoping that this masjid will be the center for Dao. I'll do my best so that uh, we can just integrate into this society too. Because sometimes I feel that this society, uh, Hokkaido Islamic society, is in isolation. We have, you have uh, your own things to do, like research and work and so on. But I see that most of you don't have any connections or interactions with the Japanese society. That's what I'm wor worried about, I'm concerned about. So I, we have some new Muslims here, and there, yes? <laughs> and this is on the same name to the back. <laughs> so when, when you are talking about the Yusuf, and the, there's always <laughs> he's hitting <laughs> me. But I was hiding the name. have four Yusuf now. Before you said yes, Japanese? Two Japanese and the two non Japanese. Oh, yes, yes. So, yes, uh, uh, every time someone says Yusuf, there is another Yusuf there in the back. So, yes. yeah. But there are many. I did one of them. So, as I said. Why did you convert this? It's been a long story. Can you stay the night? <laughs> 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 
Добре.
one book is the proper sunnah is for everybody all this and then you come to this one yeah, basic human right is now a complete way of life cargo what we are here and cargo about all this to show us the Islam cargo all the angels your relation with Allah, your responding to the community and the responding to the family and also about the reinforcement of civil and criminal law. The people break the law. If they are punishment, there is rule and regulation. So it covers every part yeah, of our needs in the life. Yeah, just read. And then you have better understanding. Okay. So then we can share with our friends. And what you are saying to make is good to bring a lot of our friends and people to have some experience. So that they know all of these things. And also they know that they know that And you must be trustworthy, you must be sincere, you must be clean. So you see, every community they got good and the ugly. So sometimes they got the ugly one. So we have to show them what is now. Very important. So next time we all come to Malaysia, visit us. I'll give you some of my card. So that you can, and this is my card. Thank you. And this is what I have. Thank you. I am also the advisor of the Salam Foundation. Yeah. And we do a lot of dakwa. And also the World Halal Council. They are based in Philippines and in Turkey. I just came back from Turkey to conduct courses for the, the volunteers who are coaching the tourists in the mall, in the Blue Mosque and in uh, Sulaimania Mall. So I used to go there and teach the young people, the volunteers. So there are a lot of tourists visiting all these malls in Turkey. So we are there to show them how to talk to the tourists, how to explain to them about Islam. Yeah, Inshallah, Allah will make it easier. We all can be a new force. The Japanese brothers and those who are not born Muslim can be a new force. Yeah, to talk about Islam to our own people. It's very easy for us to talk to our people than other people because we understand our culture. It's like me, easy for me to talk to the Chinese. Yeah, because we are Chinese. Mm -hmm. So I travel to China, I talk to the, the, the scholar in China about Islam. So they can understand that. The same thing because you all understand the background, the culture of the Japanese people. So you all can do a better job in Islam. Nice meeting all of them. And all the good brothers, huh? Give all the support that they need. Yeah, yeah, somebody wants to snatch some teacher just now.